This coming in right now is Barf. He is a turkey vulture. Because he is a scavenger, he has a couple of disgusting adaptations that help him to do his job. His job out in the wild is to eat decaying meat, things that other animals don't want to eat. And so he has what we call the three P's of turkey vulturedom. First P of turkey vulturedom is P. So as you can see, Barf here is a large dark bird, which means that he's going to be absorbing heat from the sun with his big broad wings. He uses those like solar panels to warm himself up because at night they do drop their body temperatures to conserve energy. But that means during the day on a hot July day, they can overheat. Just like your dog at home, they can't sweat and panting is not efficient for them. And so if they're getting too hot, they will pee on their legs. Functions just like sweat. Air comes along, removes the moisture from his legs, cools the blood running through it, keeps him from overheating. The second P of turkey vulturedom is how Barf got his name. Turkey vultures have very weak feet, so they can't protect themselves with their feet. They have a good bite, but their number one defense mechanism is projectile vomit. So when they find food, they will eat as much as they can, as fast as they can, to the point that they are too heavy to fly. So if something scares them, they need to lose weight fast. And so they will puke, barf, vomit, retch, whichever word you prefer. And then they're able to take off. And remember, they eat rotting meat. It smelled really bad the first time. Trust me, it smells worse the second time. I don't want to know how it tastes. The third and final pee is actually my favorite. And it's what I did not believe until I actually saw barf doing it. Turkey vultures are one of the only birds in the world that has a well-developed sense of smell. You can actually see right through his nostrils there. And so he can smell rotting meat eight miles away when he's a thousand feet up in the air. But sometimes when he sticks his head into a carcass to get all those leftover goodies, he gets things stuck in his nose. And so he will use his long middle toe to pick his nose. So they pee, they puke, and they pick. But it helps them to survive and do a very important job in the environment of being the garbage men and the cleanup crew.